Hey guys, Private Jack here, and it looks like Valve has done it to us again. They've taken TF2, updated it, and injected another 2,000 files into the game cache files. This is the Halloween 2020 stuff, guys. So in this session, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the proper way of extracting the game cache files to get it to work in Source Filmmaker. So. I'm going to use two programs here. You can choose which one you want to use. I'm going to use GCFscape and I'm going to use Crowbar. Both of these tools will unpack VPK files. So I'm going to throw Crowbar up top here. I'm going to throw GCFscape down here in the bottom and I'm going to open up two sessions of each because there are four VPK files that we have to extract. To open up multiple sessions of GCFscape, I right click on the icon on the bottom of the page and click on the executable and it will open a new session. So I'm going to grab that and pull that down here. And same thing with Crowbar, I right click on the icon on the desktop, click on the executable and Crowbar will happily open a new session. So I can have multiple sessions of these tools running at the same time. So I could have four GCFscape sessions running or I could have four Crowbar sessions running or as you can see, I can have two of each. The next thing I need for the process is I need to know where the game cache VPK files are. So I'm going to open up a Windows Explorer session and I'm going to go into my Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and I'm going to find my TF2 folder. This is the game folder. Inside the game folder, there's another folder called TF. I'm going to drill into that. And down here, I'm going to find all my VPKs. Well, there's like what? hundred and thirty two VPK files in this particular game which one do I need well I'm going to come here into the search now and I'm going to type in here star underscore dir dot VPK VPK files are like split up RAR files they're compressed files that span over multiple volumes of files okay the DIR file is the header file for the library. And it's the DIR file that we want to open in these two programs. So I'm going to extract textures using the crowbar session up here. I'm going to extract the DIR, uh, the MIST DIR down here in the GCF scape. I'm going to extract the sound miss up here in Crowbar and the sound VO down here in this session of GCFscape. So how do I load these things up? First off in Crowbar I have to select the Unpack tab and then all I have to do is grab a hold of the DIR file that I want to extract pull it up here and drop it into the package information. Crowbar will go through and it'll search through all the uh, packages or all the uh, folders that are in that package and display what's available. To do the same thing to GCFscape, I said I was going to do the miss DIR in this session. I'm going to drag and drop that full uh, file onto this session of GCFscape and it will do the same thing. It will go through it, will read everything and right now it's in the process of cataloging everything so I can't really use anything here. Up here again I want this file to be extracted by this session of Crowbar and again here it is here and this one to be extracted by this session of GCFscape. 
Okay, so what we're seeing here is that in the textures DIR, we have a folder called materials. If I drill into this materials folder, I will and into one of the actual folders within that within that uh, package, I'm going to find that the textures DIR is strictly that. It's just VTFs. And then you're going to say, well, where are the VMTs? Because we need both VMT and VTF in order for textures to work in the Source 1 engine. Well, down here in the TF2 MISS DIR, there's another materials folder. And if I drill into that one, and I go into that same uh, folder path that I got here, I think it was cables. I'm going to drill into that, and here I'm going to find that the VMTs are in the MISS DIR folder. Why they didn't pack them all together, I don't know. This is something that Valve has done. Same thing goes with the sound folder. Basically, here I've got the sound miss DIR. I drill into here, and I've got all the game uh, ambience and, and music and that kind of thing. And if I go into this sound folder that's in the VO English and drill into that, I'm going to find a VO folder, and I drill into that. I'm going to find all the voiceovers for all the characters in this particular folder folder. And again, these sound folders pretty much have to be merged together just like these texture folders have to be merged or these material folders need to be merged together. And the extraction process is going to do that. So here I'm going to select the root. I'm going to select the materials folder here and now I need to tell this thing where to unpack back to Source Filmmaker. Common Source Filmmaker. Inside Source Filmmaker folder, we have the game folder. If we drill into the game folder, all of these folders in here that aren't associated with the game, like bin, uh, platform, um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. So the bin and the platform folders are actual uh, game-related stuff. Pretty much everything else in here is what we call mod folders. So I have Black Mesa extracted. This is a Black Mesa mo mod folder. If I drill into that particular folder, I'm going to find maps, materials, models, particles, scripts, sounds, and couple of other things that don't really need to be here. Blade Symphony, same thing. I drill into that. Maps, materials, models, particles, sound. And I've also got a game info text file so that I can set this thing up as a uh, as a main mod folder, but I'm not going to go there. Pretend game info didn't exist there. In my customs, here I've got a materials model sound folder. Dino D Day. Come on, get in there. Materials models folders. So basically, this is what I'm saying. These are the mod folders that, if you've read any of my replies to people and I give a path, I say mod folder, materials, models, that kind of thing. Mod folder, models, and the path to the. This is the mod folder that I'm referring to. So, for our extract, what we need to do is we do not want to extract into the TF folder. The TF folder is a primary system folder for Source Filmmaker, and it is the driving force behind this version of Source Filmmaker. So, we don't want to change anything that is in this folder. Okay, so we don't want to extract materials into materials here, sound into sound here, and the other folders into here, and this sound folder into here. We do not want to disturb this TF folder. 
what we're going to do is we're going to go back up into the game folder and we are going to create a new mod folder and call it tf2 underscore extracts. Now, before you go through with this process, be advised that when you extract the files that we require, you are going to be injecting 13.9 gigabytes into Source Filmmaker. So you have to make sure that you have room on the drive that you are putting this stuff into to accommodate 13.9 gigabytes or 124,000 files. Okay, let's get out of that. We'll get our session of crowbar back up here. And now to extract, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this browse button and I'm going to surf to my source filmmaker folder go into the game folder and find that extract folders that I just set up. I'm going to select it and say open. So now what I do is all I have to do is hit the unpack button. And this is going to whirl around for a little bit before it starts. Same thing here. I'm going to, I can actually just take, uh, too late, I should have just taken it and copied this and pasted it in here, but we'll do it the hard way. We'll go browse, source filmmaker, game, and TF2 extracts. As we can see, the materials folder has been created and this stuff is going in there. Okay, so I hit open and I hit the unpack button. And away it goes. So it is now creating a sound folder. Now if you're using GCF scape it's a little bit different. Here I'm going to select the root. I'm going to minimize this folder. I'm going to select the root and then I'm going to select materials, hold down the control key, hit models and particles. Now I do the same process if I was using crowbar as well. I'm going to right click on materials and click on extract. Now I'm going to send this browser to that Source Filmmaker game uh, TF Extracts folder. Uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker game and I'm going to select that TF2 extracts. I'm not going to select any of these in here I'm just going to select that main folder, the mod folder. I'm going to click OK and the process will start. So all of these materials that are coming out of this materials folder right now are going into this folder. So if I come in here now and have a look, not only am I going to find that I have the VMTs or the VTFs from this folder, I also have the VMTs from this folder. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that again. So this process is running. For the sound folder, I do exactly the same thing. Select the root. Select the root, select the sound folder, right click on the sound folder, click on extract, and surf to that extraction folder that I've got set up for TF2. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, source filmmaker, game, Again, I select that extract folder, the mod folder only, and click OK. And poof, now it's extracting its files. And these files are being injected into the same folder that this one was. 
So now if I look at it, extracts, sound, I'm finding that I've got these folders injected into the sound folder. And if I scroll down here, here's the VL folder here. So they are now in their proper location. Okay, so looking here, this particular session is finished. I can close it out. I look here, this particular session is done. I can close it out. This session is finished. I can close it out. And this session is going to take a little while simply due to the fact that not only are we extracting materials, but we're also extracting models and particles as well. So we'll just let this catch up. But while this is happening, I can still go into Source Film Maker. And I need to go into the library. I need to launch Source Film Maker from the Steam client. So I come in here, right click on Source Film Maker, click Launch, and I want to launch the SDK. Launch. Within the SDK, I want to click on Edit Search Pass for the selected mod. That's going to open this window, and in here I am going to find that TF2 Extracts folder but it doesn't have a check mark on. It means it's disabled right now. I'm going to click on that box to enable it, and then I'm going to position this folder within the hierarchy stack so that it is above TF, but below TF movies. So if I'm looking for the HWM Heavy, I in my file browser in Source Filmmaker, it's going to come in, it's going to find the first occurrence of that model here in TF Movies. I am going to get that model. Anything that's in here or in T TF is ignored. If I select something that isn't in TF Movies, like say a prop, then it will come in here, it will look in TF Movies uh, first off, it'll look in user mod because user mod has the highest priority. This is why we don't want to put anything in user mod. If it doesn't find it in user mod, it will come into TF movies. It will look in TF movies. If it doesn't find what I'm looking for there, it'll move on to custom. If it doesn't find what I'm looking for there, it'll move on to TF2 extracts. If it finds that, it will present that model to me in the model browser and ignore anything else below. If it doesn't find it in TF2 extracts, it'll move on to TF. If it doesn't find it in TF, it'll move on to workshop and so on down the line for the enabled uh, mod folders. If it doesn't find it at the end of the search, this is where you'll end up with the error model or it just won't show up, that kind of thing in the model browser. Okay, now that I have my TF2 extract set up in the proper hierarchy, I click OK. I can launch Source Filmmaker and if I bet, I bet if I look here now at my GCF scape, I'll find that it's finished, done. I'll launch Source Filmmaker. I wish there was a minimize button on this. Okay, I'm not even going to create a session. I'm just going to go into my model browser. Oh, I do have to create a session. Uh, Jack and Lantern, cancel, cancel. Yeah, I do have to create a session. So file, new. I'm going to create a session. I'm not going to load a map. Right click here, new model. If I look here now, I'll find that I have my TF2 extracts folder here. And if I type in down here 2020, 
excuse me, it'll go through and it will start finding. all the stuff that was uploaded for the community Halloween items and there you go we now have them available in Source Filmmaker we have all the items that are in the TF inventory in Source Filmmaker ready to rock and roll now if you want to do this for any other Source 1 game, then it's the exact same process. Find the VPK that has the materials, models, particles, and sound folders in them. Create a new, uh, load them up, load that VPK DIR up into GCFscape or Crowbar. Create a new mod folder in Source Filmmaker. Extract the files into that mod folder, turn it on it through the SDK search uh, path for existing mod, and bingo, you've got that game in there. That's how I've got my Gmod stuff in here. I've got my I uh, don't have much in here right now, do I? No. Got it all turned off, but my customs folder is here. And that kind of thing. So basically, that's it for this particular video. Hope you have fun. Happy SFMing. And enjoy the Halloween 2020 stuff. With that, I say Private Jack out.